Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. If you haven't downloaded the book yet, you should do so. There's a whole chapter on NDI Remote, which we're going to go over today. What is NDI Remote? NDI Remote is the way for anyone in the world to remotely send NDI video sources into your video production. Let's take a look. So first of all, NDI Remote is a tool that is web-based. It's WebRTC based. So anywhere in the world, someone has a camera and a microphone, whether it is a webcam or the output of a video production system, they can use WebRTC, a very commonly used web-based platform. It's really popular with Google Chrome to send NDI video across the world. So how does all this work? Well, first of all, I just want everyone to know, you know, if you've been following along, we've gone through quite a lot of learning regarding NDI, and now we're about to get into some of the more advanced NDI features. NDI 5.0 features, which include NDI Remote, NDI Bridge, and also NDI Audio Direct, which are all covered in the new book. So NDI Remote is an easy way to bring video into your NDI production environment on your local area network from anywhere in the world over the public internet. You simply send a link to a remote guest and they can join. And we'll show you how to create those links and manage those links. In fact, the NDI remote application allows you to manage up to 10 remote guests. And they actually have a really cool new website for folks to use to send video over the internet. It's really cool. The system just uses a web browser. So if you have a computer or a smartphone, you can connect to NDI Remote. This is what NDI Remote looks like in a web browser. This is from a smartphone. You can see here that center button is whether or not NDI is on. We've got a mute button. We've got a camera switch button. You know, a lot of smartphones have the ability to have a front and a back smartphone. We have a bandwidth button, which reduces the quality if you don't have enough bandwidth to send smooth video, and a few other features for grids and lighting. Now, we're going to jump right into a live demonstration because I want to deep dive into NDI remote. But whether whatever camera you're using, you can share that over the web into NDI. So it's great for a reporter. It's great for having extra cameras that might not be on your local area network. Maybe they're on the other side of the world and sending them into your local area network. Now, sources must be made available to the host, okay, from the remote call, and we'll show you how to do that and how to configure everything. So I'm going to pull up my NDI launcher, and I'm going to walk you through the new tutorial that, that New Tech has here, the NDI tutorial for NDI remote, and then we'll actually do a live demo. So first of all, I'm running NDI remote already. Um, so we'll take a look at the connections and the incoming connections and the options here. But this uh, new launcher really walks us through it in an easy way. So on the left-hand side, the My Connections area will show a checkmark connection next to a connection that you want to start. And when you do that, you can name the connection and you can get the link that you're going to want to send an email to the person that you want to send you video over the public internet. So you can click the connections monitor icon to run Studio Monitor when you're ready to just take a look at that remote video. You don't have to use Studio Monitor. You could use vMix, you could use OBS, you could use Wirecast, but it's a nice way to receive the video and take a look. You can click the share button, the share icon there to invite someone to send video. So that's how you kind of get it out there. If a QR code is enabled, you can simply take that QR code, scan it, and it'll give you the link right on your smartphone. Uh, you can also use this tool with the ability to just revoke all connections. So we want to get rid of all the connections. We want to start them back over, and that allows us to kind of slow it down. So just as an example, smartphone, we'll call this smartphone India. We're going to send this to somebody in India. We're going to click the little uh, send button there to get that. And then, boom, we can copy this 
and send it to someone and then they could send NDI video directly into NDI remote. Let's hide that because obviously you don't want that to get out to the world um, for people who you don't want to have it. Now, if you have any issues with NDI remote, maybe there's a networking issue, maybe there's something that could happen, there is a turn relay server, which you can enable with your IT managers with a server URL and a port to create your own NDI remote server. I mean, this is really cool. So if you have any issues with this, you can create your own NDI remote connection server with up to 10 callers. So it's a very interesting, it's different from NDI Bridge. So we'll take a look at NDI Bridge in our next video. But this is really just remote callers, public internet, using WebRTC, still pretty good quality about the quality that you're going to see with WebRTC. Um, and it's no need for setting up a public IP address or um, doing all the things that you have to do with NDI Bridge. This is truly managing uh, WebRTC calls. Now on the incoming side, this is where you can see all of the incoming connections. And it's really interesting opportunity to use remote NDI.tv to send your video to a producer. So I wanna show this, uh, this area here, and I'm gonna start from the beginning here, go to remote.ndi.tv. When you go here, it essentially will open up a WebRTC system. So you can see here, my webcam's coming in, I have all the tools that we talked about, and then I can click this little share button, I can name myself, so we'll call this Paul USA, and then I can share that. And it's gonna open up sharing it via, a, uh, via email, your email address, but you can also just copy that link, and I'm just gonna paste it so you can see. It comes with this link, you send that to the far end, and now they can receive the video. So NDI Remote can be initiated from the, from the far end or from your end. So. Uh, whichever end of the connection you are on, you can send that video. So quick uh, takeaways for NDI Remote. It's a, just an easy way to bring remote video sources into your production environment. NDI Remote will send a remote source from anywhere in the world and convert that into an NDI video source on your local area network. It is also much easier to use than NDI Bridge in the sense that you don't need to get a public IP address and open up a port for port forwarding. It does have the advanced tools to enable a turn server, and you can manage to 10 NDI remote connections with this app. So that with that, we're going to go to NDI Bridge, which is going to give us uh, even more in-depth options for connecting multiple networks together. And I think that's going to be really helpful. So we'll go into NDI Bridge in the next video. Thanks for taking the time to watch this one. Let me know if you have any comments about NDI Remote. And of course, pick up your free copy of the Unofficial Guide to NDI as we get into some of the more technical applications and tools in the new NDI 5.0 release.